Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to bring ChatGPT and LLMs into OBS using local vocal speech transcription plugin and the URL API source plugin. In this video, we will walk through the entire process step by step so you can integrate these powerful tools into your live streams or recordings. But before we dive in, please make sure to like this video, leave any comments and requests you may have, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to star the GitHub repositories linked in the video notes. Your support helps me create more content like this. So let's dive in. First, you will need to obtain uh, OpenAI API keys. If you haven't already, visit the OpenAI website and create an account. Once you're logged in, generate your API keys. Keep these safe and secure as they are essential for these types of integrations. Next, in OBS, let's set up the URL API source with your API keys. Hit the plus button in the sources panel and select URL source. Let's call it ChatGPT. Now let's go to the OpenAI API reference and look for the example for create completions. This will have the URL that we need to use as well as the headers that we should add to our request and the proper JSON body that we need. So let's go ahead and copy this URL here. In the request builder inside our URL API source, let's paste the URL in the URL box. The method will be a post method and we would need our two headers that we can also copy directly from OpenAI API reference. Here, we will need to bring in our OpenAI key. Just paste it in. Now we're done. Next, we will copy the JSON body from the OpenAI example. So just select the JSON without the quotations and paste it in. All right, we should be ready to try this out. So let's click the test button, removing this. And let's see what happens. All right, this was a request body, just like we pasted it in. You see OpenAI had responded here. This is a test right here. This seems okay. Now we have to go for parsing. So to parse this, we can hit test request again just to see what we need. It looks like there is an array here called choices. And the first choice would have one value here called text. So our JSON pointer will have to be choices zero for the first one and then text. Let's try this out. All right. It seems like it worked. We got this as a test and this was actually parsed out. Perfect. Let's save this. And now let's set up local vocal. Uh, so download and install the local vocal plugin if you haven't already. The links are in the video notes. So select your audio source and click filters and add your local vocal transcription filter here look for local vocal transcription and set this up to uh, match your needs. In this case, I have English here, an English model. Uh, so we can select that. And the output, we would want to send them into a OBS text source. Uh, so we can capture these in our ChatGPT source. So let's select text source in here. Let's close this out. And it seems like this is already working. You should be seeing the output of the captions here on screen and we can see them gone. So now we're ready to set up the dynamic input on the URL API source to inject those captions into the OpenAI request. So we'll use a prompt template to ask uh, OpenAI to translate these captions into German. Let's open the source settings again. And now in the dynamic source, dynamic input, select the text choice that you just created as the output for local vocal. So it will be subtitles from LV. Let's go ahead and tick skip empty and skip same since we don't want to send empty or repeating requests to OpenAI since we're paying for those. Um, in the body section here in post, let's change the JSON. So instead of say this is a test, 
we would say something like translate this English text to German and add input in curly brackets. The input in curly brackets will be replaced by the output that we have in our subtitles uh, text source over here. All right, so let's test this out. So in our request body here, we see that translate this English text to German input has changed it to translate this English text to German source over here. All right, which is what I said just a few seconds ago. So this how went to open AI and the re request was something in German. And then it's parsed out and ex does exactly what we need. All right, so let's save this out. Now this source, we can actually make it also output its text in uh, into another text source. We could we could try to do that. But it also has this internal rendering engine, uh, which would uh, simply write it out onto screen. You should be seeing this on your screen right now. Adding another text source will actually give you more flexibility in displaying the captions. Uh, so you can uh, set up another text source and send the open AI output into there and then hide the original text source if you wish. But you can also keep it for a multilingual options, uh, multilingual captions view. Now, just to demonstrate how flexible and customizable this setup can be, let's change uh, the OpenAI translation from German into Spanish. So let's go in here and look at our data source here. And in our body, instead of translate this to German, we simply say Spanish, save this out. And now our translation should be to Spanish instead of German. Okay, congratulations. You have successfully integrated ChatGPT and LLMs into OBS using the local vocal speech transcription plugin and the URL API source plugin. How awesome is that? Now you have the power to add real-time translation to your live streams or recordings. But using LLMs and AI in your streams doesn't end in translation. AI can help you summarize on the fly, rephrase talking points, even suggest what questions to ask your guests or viewers. Be sure to watch more videos on my channel that touch on these topics. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave your comments or requests below, subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials and make sure to star the GitHub repositories in the video notes. Your support really does help. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll do my best to assist you. Happy streaming!